my name is Bloody, and welcome to uh, Drowning. Now, that sounds like a really edgy name, and honestly, I'm not sure how this game's gonna go, but um, if you guys don't know, I played a game before this called The Beginner's Guide, and I that's my favorite game of all time because of how emotional it is and how you can relate to your own life. And it's not a good ending, but it's it's something that's reasonable. Year 8. And like I love that about the game. Like I truly do, and my mouse is in the middle. I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix that. Okay, let's... Thank you, game! Mmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love that. I still remember the day we first met. But no, it's just one of these narrative games, and I love these narrative games. It's one of those, like, pet peeves, like, I was in year eight and had no friends. It's one of those things that, like, you need, I love, okay? It's like, it's a cocaine for me, dude. I need, I need to play it, okay? But, um, get ready for an emotional journey, guys. I just, I really love going through these with you. I really do. While I was alone, you came, and you sat next to me. Is this a love story? Aww. Though you never said anything. Can I run? Oh yeah, I shipped. I can run, baby. I hardly recognized you. I hardly recognized you were there. You were quiet, like me. Every time I was alone, you would come and visit. <laughs> but you wouldn't say anything. Hmm. <gasps> Could she not talk? Could he not talk? I'm guessing I'm a, I'm a he, I'm guessing. Weeks went by. Because that'd be so cute if she could. That'd be, okay. And you wouldn't talk to me. Still wouldn't talk to me, I'm sorry. So I ignored you. And you left me alone. Oh no! That's, that's tragic. Like I can't, mm, man. I can't tell if this is gonna be like a like a terrible drama or is this gonna be like a romance. It wasn't long after you left until the holiday started. Mm. And my family decided to go over the seas. Over the seas. <laughs> we lifted up pineapple under the sea. <laughs> it was my first time on a plane, so I was kind of nervous. I've never been on a plane before, guys. Like that's um, I'm gonna probably do that for um, November. But I eventually overcame my fear. Um, yeah, November going to my dad's to um, see him in Tennessee. So um, that's gonna be my first time going on a plane. Cause you know, <laughs> Thanksgiving. Ah <laughs> uh, man, it's, it's gonna be great. While we were over the sea, oh, <laughs> the of the plane. <laughs> we mainly did stuff with our, our family. A family. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I didn't think life could get any better. And definitely not worse. But it did! As much as, as I didn't want to, we had to leave. But all good things must come to an end. True. True. But good things can also come back. Like the, the 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 Twinkies factory, good things always come. You know, <laughs> um, we uh, arrived home on the last day of uh, the holidays. Life was good. This is such a real. This is like a really common game, honestly. Like I could just play this like all day, really. But then school started. This, this gameplay is probably gonna be like, super quick. Cause like, I'm legit like pushing on the like the shift button so I can run, <laughs> and you were there. Almost like everybody did that, but like, but you were different. You seem more confident, but no one liked you. I didn't understand why. Why I was kind of there? Why people didn't like me? You seem fine to me. Okay. Okay. I love the art in this game. So we became friends. So, every day you open up a little more. Hmm. Interesting. And you started talking to me. We became close. Hmm. 
this is gonna be a warm type friendship like story I feel like and then it's gonna turn into like a tragedy later that week I told another friend about you he warned me that you were dangerous oh no don't tell me oh I can kind of see this going I think I think I think but I didn't see how I, I think there's gonna be like one of the stories where like you know obviously like, mental illness so I ignored what he said and like the, like the challenges of actually having like normal like, like relationships because of it. After all, he barely knew you. <clears throat> Cause like I um in a lot of stories like this like you, it's hard for like people with obviously you know mental illness. Cause like you want to fit in, but like soon after we became friends. But it's like it's also hard for them because like you know it's it's hard for them to like truly be the same. Um, you started telling me strange things, and it, it's also hard for people to always understand that. You told me one of my good friends didn't want me as their friend anymore. It made no sense. It, it's hard to um to understand that like everyone's always messed up some sort of way, but like people. So I just ignored you, hoping that you would leave me. I mean, it, there's always a social average, but like the question is, should that social average be accepted in the end? You know, and like that's that's very. It's questionable, but you never did. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. You kept going. Telling me the same thing over and over again. I'm not gonna edit this, by the way. I'm just going to freaking send. <laughs> send it. <laughs> and you got louder. I started to believe what you were saying. Until. <laughs> Wait, is it gonna say that? Please help me, does. I didn't know what to do. Until <laughs> I decided the best thing to do was to let you keep going. And pretend I didn't care. Oh, is this a friend grieving over the fact that, like, he didn't care too much for his friend? Is, it, is that, like, one of those stories again? Hmm. Because if it is, I'm going to be really intrigued on the story. Because so far it's okay. Like, I like the fact that you're actually walking into the text. It took a while. Like, I think, I think it's a really cool concept, like, how they're doing that here. Like, I really... It, it's, like... Like I said, you've done before, but like not as like nonchalantly. If that makes sense. But you eventually came back. You, you became a voice at the back of my head. Okay. But I couldn't forget what you said. It's like your voice was stuck on an endless loop. Hmm. And I believed every word. Believe every word. <laughs> you convinced me. You convinced me about Thanos' car! <laughs> that my friend didn't need me. Mm -hmm. And was better off without me. Mm -hmm. So, I naturally distanced myself from him. Because he was a hoe! That's why! <laughs> Thinking that my only option because how do you make someone like you? Hmm. That truly hates you. Whenever he would start a conversation, I would purposely seem uninterested. Hmm. So he knew. So he would talk to somebody else. Somebody he really wants to talk to. Hmm. It looked like I was being rude. Cause you are! No. <laughs> but I really was doing him a favor. Oh really? <laughs> I saved him the embarrassment of having to talk to me in front of the others. That's, oh, that's hard. And I saved him the effort of being nice and pretending to care. No, that's harsh, because, like, I, I see this all the time with people that have anxiety and depression. Like, it, 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 um, it boggles them, and, like, they feel like they're a burden to others. Oh. Environment change? Environment change? You're nine. Oh, ye oh, my. It's getting good. I, I like this story already. I was happy for school to start, so I could see my friends. 
Hmm. You didn't like seeing me like this, so you disappeared. I never really understood why you kept coming and going. But I was glad you were gone. It wasn't until now that I realized I enjoyed life a lot more when you were when you weren't around. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's that's harsh. So I became scared of you. And began to hate school. It's quiet. Because I didn't want to be friends with any with you anymore. But I tried my best not to worry too much. Because I knew you love seeing me like this. That's 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 hard. Like like I said, like school is great at, at first because like you can tell like this is like basically someone I'm, like I've been hanging out with friends I hadn't seen in a while. I think someone with mental illness that, and I even spoke to uh, to one of the new students who soon after became one of my closest friends. But then you came along. That's trying to like almost push away someone that cares about them. And you destroyed the fun I was having. But at the same time, like, the other person knows how to, like, I guess, help them. You told me to stop, talk stop speaking to people who don't like me. Because all I'm doing... Are making more people hate me. If, and I feel like this is like a friendship that's also, like, honest, like, really did. I thought the best thing to do was ignore you. So that's what I did. Yeah, I feel like this is a friend that's, like, continually trying to, like, help this person, like, honestly, even though it hurts them. Not long after I was walking down the school hallway, and, like, the, you know, this person obviously like, keeps trying to fit in and fit in, but, like, it's not the best way to fit in, that makes sense. And, like, I saw a guy standing with a group of people. The new guy standing with a group of people. So I said hi. And obviously, like, you know, she, like, I'm guessing it's a she that we're talking to right now. Like, keeps failing and failing, and, you know, but he ignored me. And despite all of it, you know, it, it hurts. It's kind of embarrassing to know me even though we were good friends well at least I thought we were that night I'm trying to fall asleep the thought of the new guy kept crossing my mind I feel like this person is just like like scared to fade away if that makes sense I couldn't figure out what I did and all you were doing was telling me how you were right all along and how I should have listened to you. I didn't even understand why it was about bothering me. It was bothering me so much. All I knew is that I was losing sleep over something that probably doesn't even matter. That's rough. I can relate. I can, I can totally. I, I bet anybody watching this can totally relate to that. This is both sides of the story. Wake up in the middle of the night became normal. Cause like this is something where like you know someone's trying to like you know make their own life be themselves but like and my friends noticed I looked more tired than I usually did so they asked if something was okay so that nah, you but you said to remember what you told me and be careful what I said to them what I say to them so I told them I was oh god wait so is my character though like even though I was far from and like am I actually a good person in this gameplay I can't tell telling no one about you was hard I really wanted to but you wouldn't let me you keep reminding me of how I've already made the other people hate me I didn't know what to do You want to leave me alone. <gasps> you knew I was scared of you. I'm not a real person. I'm actually symbolism. Of oh, sh and it made you happy. I think I'm actually like a little like personification of like anxiety, depression, and fear. Like, I think that's what I am in this gameplay. Like, I actually think that's that. Oh, my God. Because I'm not real. I'm like, I'm not actually there, you know. 
Oh my god, dude. Dude! Plot twist. 2018, baby! <laughs> no, that's so cool. I totally think that's what it is. That's what I love about these games, because like, it doesn't exactly tell you, like, the reason behind, like, the story. But, like, you're basically walking through, like, a story. And, like, it, it's art, because, like, the way it presents its story through, like, a beautiful manner. And it, it was only a matter of time before you would leave me alone. Because, obviously, you know, as I said, like, I kept coming back and forth. So I tried to learn about how to control my emotions. I mean, becoming more confident, meaning, like, you know, I was more, like, aggressive, technically. That's crazy. I was getting quite good at it. It seemed to make you angry. See, yeah. That I could feel happiness. I thought I was fine. No, I, th I thought I finally found a way to remove you from my life. And I didn't need to worry about you coming back. Wow. This is, this is a, ugh. The feels, dude. The feels. <laughs> then my parents told me they were getting a divorce. Oh, my God. And then I get more, I come back, right? Right? Uh-oh. Loading screen, 2018. <laughs> like, water break, 2018. <laughs> But no, I'm loving this story. I'm loving this story. The art style, like, it doesn't need to be, like, insane. I love how it's simplistic, because then you can, like, you can truly focus on the text. And, like, I love how you actually, like, walk into the text, almost like you're moving through it. Year 10. Oh, you know, there's, like, probably, like, you know, like, um, years in high uh, school. So, right now, they're a sophomore. So. I don't know what way I'm going. I I don't know what way I'm going. I don't think I'm going the right way, dude. Am I, am I actually am I going the right way? I think I am. I'm pretty sure I. I just saw this object here, and like, like I feel like I need to interact with it. Oh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Am I going the right way? That was it. I just picked up the candle. And What's the candle supposed to resemble? Why did you choose me? What's the candle supposed to be? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I never hurt anybody. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. Wow, oh, man. Ew. Ew. Is it because I'm weak? Yeah, this is totally like, literally like, I am the uh, personification uh, and symbolism of, is it because I'm quiet? Of anxiety, depression, and um, I guess like lack of self-confidence, you know? Like, I, I, I manifest it as the character of the story, you know? Either way, I've decided. <laughs> I'm getting help. And it's hard, because like, this is a story of basically like, you know, trying to like, overcome this and like, this is something you just need to get. You need to get out of my life. Is something that you need to like overcome and motivate yourself to like you know push on and get out of, or like is it something that's like endlessly just you need to accept, you know? And like it, it's hard, you know. Um, you're making me miserable because it basically is just like eternal pain and suffering having this. And so I'm putting an end to a relationship. So obviously this person's like pushing themselves to like you know get this out of life and like just like anybody else. But like the thing is, is like when it comes to everyone else, like um and with this, like obviously everybody has to like relate with this um the pain of this. Wait, that's it. That's it. 
I'm getting help. I'm putting an end to this. Oh, dude, you can't do that to me. Okay, okay. Here's what I think. Here's what. Here's what I think. I think there's actually a few different like outcomes. One, I'm putting an end to this thanks to the friends and family that who stuck with me through this heart. Oh, through the heart. Oh my God. So this is like basically a story about. Oh, that's so that's that's so hard. Oh my God. Thank you for playing. No problem, Polygon. But dude, this is a beautiful game. Beautiful game. Bravo. Um. No, oh, I, um, if I'm going to be honest, like, I'm setting this to high expectations compared to, like, um, the beginner's guide. Obviously, not as, um, you know, insane, okay? And it doesn't need to be, you know, that's, that's the thing that's, like, beautiful about this game. Because it's just a short story, like, telling about, like, um, how someone endured certain things. And, um, the life that they've had to, like, go through with depression, anxiety, and, like, all that, um, that's what I'm inferring, okay? I could be wrong. You guys tell me what you guys think in the comments below for this story, but I mean, I, th I think, honestly, well, it's, it's a beautiful story, and I love it. Because of, like, how, I guess, they literally manifest this depression, anxiety, into a character. And, how li it literally won't stop following this person. And, in a sense... It's almost like you can't get rid of it. But the thing that really boggles me at the end is like when he said, um, I'm putting an end to this. Does that mean they're actually going to get help? And like, you know, because they said that you get help, but like, does that mean they're actually going to get help? Or does that mean they're going to end it, you know? And, um, obviously, you know, they got help in the end. Like, that's what it, like, you know, probably actually meant. But I mean, th I love how they ended that because, like, when they went to the, um, to the lake at the very end. I don't understand the candle one. I'm thinking that's like, um, the like you're resembling the candle, and like that's everything that was you and just burnt out. You know, your uh, your emotions, your love, you know, who you are, your personality, or the divorce of your parents that you know burnt out. That's what I'm guessing. But the uh, drowning part, I love that because basically, you're drowning in your own emotions, and there's nowhere you can go. So it feels like you can't breathe, and that's why I love this title. The thing I really, really enjoy though is like. Also, if you look in this um, tile screen, you won't see the title anywhere, but you do see a thing of water, and I love that. I, I really do love that. Simplistic game, good message. It really does hit home. And I mean, if you're able to like infer these things, um, and you're actually able to like think for yourself for this. I mean, I bet there's so many other like ways you can interpret like the story, and that's fine. I mean, that's why I love these games, these story-driven ones. Um, I mean, that's why they're so good, so popular, and, like, so well-known, um, if there's a good one, because, like, it gives such a, like, a good, heartfelt meaning behind it, you know? Um, that's why the Beginner's Guide is so amazing, the Stanley Parable. I mean, it just leaves you thinking, why? What if? Why is a story like this? And how can I, like, put this into my own life, you know? And I love stories like that, because, honestly, everyone nowadays just plays games where, you know, they're shooting, and there's horror, ah! I and mean, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, it's fun, but I mean, when you actually can sit down and like, put yourself into the shoes of someone like this. You know, put yourself into the shoes of a story that literally is just waiting to, like, devour you. I love that feeling. I really do. And, you know, it, it helps you understand other people. So if anybody's feeling down, if anybody truly needs someone, I just I just want to say I'm here. Um, you can text me. I'm on I'm, I'm, I'm Discord all the time. Um, I'm busy a lot, but I'll, I'll be there. And, um... I just want to know. You're never alone, okay, guys? Hell, that's why I'm still doing videos. I want to be the guy that's there for the one person that, you know, might be uh, having a hard time. Because I believe, even though we're looking through a computer screen, okay, sometimes I feel like, or, you know, I do. We're closer than some people even know in real life. And then that's, that's something to be said. So if you're watching this, hope you have an amazing day. Stay strong. Keep your head up. Smile. Subsist all if you want. <laughs> By the end, remember that your dreams, whatever they may be, whatever hardships may be going through, everyone will be oppressed. But it just depends on how you deal with those struggles. And if you're going to let the world overcome you, or if you're going to overcome the world. So, I guess what I want to say is smile to change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. <laughs> Even if it hurts. 
My name is Blue Sunny Out. Love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Whoop. <laughs>